Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to create this country sun catcher, which you can see here in the photos before you. Also, if you head over to my blog at richtexturescrochet.com, you'll find some more photos of this wall hanging there as well. I have my sample, which you can see a little bit of here. Basically what I've done here is I've taken a granny circle pattern and in fact it's the same granny circle pattern that you can find in my granny circle shoulder bag which is another free crochet pattern here on my blog and I have attached it to a 12 inch macrame ring which you can again see part of or macrame hoop that you can see here in the video. So for this project today you're going to need five different colors of a cotton yarn, a worsted medium weight cotton. I'm using the Lion Brand Pima cotton. Again you'll need five colors and you're going to need 50 to 100 yards of each color. You're going to need your 12 inch uh, macrame hoop which I found at a local craft store as well as a five millimeter crochet hook. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe. Take a look around. This channel is updated with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. The pattern is worked in rounds. So you're going to start by making your slip knot. And then by with your color A, you're going to chain five and join with a slip stitch into your first stitch to make a ring. If you would prefer, you may use a magic ring as well. Once you have chained five, join in the first stitch to make your ring, you'll begin round four. You're going to begin by chaining four, and this will count as a double crochet stitch and chain one. Next, double crochet and chain one 11 more times into your ring. So in total, you need to have 12 double crochet stitches and your 12 chain one spaces. So double crochet, chain one, all just into the center of your ring and you want to do this a total of 11 more times. So there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And then just double check that you've done 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, plus your chain 4 at the start means you have 12 double crochet stitches. Make another chain 1 and then join with a slip stitch. You're going to join into the third chain of that starting chain 4. You should now have a ring at this time. You can fasten off, if you're going to switch colors, fasten off your color A. For round two, you're going to take your color B and join that color B however you would like. You can begin by making a, uh, a slip knot on your hook and then you're going to join into any chain one space. like so and then start round two by chaining three. You're then going to into that same chain space you're going to double crochet and chain one. Your chain three at the start also counts as a double crochet stitch. Next, you're going to skip the next double crochet and into the next chain one space, work two double crochet stitches, and 
and chain one. Repeat that all the way around. Into the next chain one space, work two double crochet stitches and chain one. Continue all the way around. When you come uh, to the end of your ring, you're going to uh, finish off with your chain one space and join with a slip stitch into the top of your chain three and you can then fasten off and uh, weave in any ends if you would like as you go. I am just at the end of my round two. Join with a slip stitch and then you can fasten off. At this time you're going to take your color C Taking your color C, you can join it in any chain one space. And you're ready to begin round three. For round three, you'll chain three, work two more double crochets all into that chain one space, and chain one. Next, into the next chain one space, so you're skipping those two double crochet stitches. Into the next chain one space, work three double crochets. And a chain one. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Uh, skip the next two double crochets into the next chain one space, work three double crochets. And chain one. Continue all the way around, end off with your chain one, and join with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain three, and fasten off. For round four, you're going to take your color D and join in any of the chain one spaces. Begin by chaining three which counts as a double crochet stitch and then work three more double crochets all into the same space. Chain one, skip the next three double crochet stitches and into your next chain one space work four double crochet stitches. Chain one. You're now going to repeat that all the way around. Skip the next three double crochets into your next chain one space. Work four double crochet stitches. chain one and repeat. Continue all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain three. For round five, you're going to take your color E, join with a slip stitch in any chain one space, then begin by chaining three, working one more double crochet into that same space, and chain one. You're then going to skip the next two double crochet stitches, so that's, uh, in this case, it's my starting chain three, and my next double crochet. Then working in between these next two stitches, you're going to work two double crochet stitches. So I'm just inserting my hook down in between the two stitches. Work two double crochets and chain one. Skip the next two double crochet stitches into the next chain one space. Work two double crochets and chain one. 
You're then going to repeat that all the way around. Skip the next two double crochets in between the next two stitches, insert your hook, work two double crochets, and a chain one, skip the next two double crochet stitches, and into the next chain one space, work two double crochets, and a chain one. Continue that all the way around to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain three, and then fasten off. For round six, you're going to take your color A, join with a slip stitch into any chain one space, and then you're going to repeat your round three. For round three, you chained three and worked two more double crochet stitches all into that same space. Chain one into the next chain one space, work three double crochet stitches. chain one, into the next chain one space, work three double crochet stitches. Continue that all the way around, end off with a chain one, and then join with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain three. For round seven, you're going to join your color B and in any chain one space. Next, you're going to repeat what you did for round four. So chain three into that same space, work three double crochet stitches. Your chain three also counts as a stitch skip the next, or chain one, skip the next three double crochets into that next chain one space, work four double crochet stitches. Chain one and repeat. You're going to continue that all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, which is that starting chain three, you'll end with a chain one and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round eight, you're going to take your color C, join your color C into any chain one space with a slip knot, and you're now going to repeat your round five. For round five, you'll remember you chained three which counts as a stitch, double crochet into that same space as joining, chain one, skip the next two double crochets, and in between the next two stitches, work two double crochet stitches. Chain one, skip the next two double crochets, and double crochet, uh, work two double crochets into the next chain one space. Repeat that all the way around, chain one, skip the next two double crochets and in between the next two stitches, work two double crochet. Chain one, skip the next two double crochet stitches and work two double crochets into the next chain one space. Repeat that all the way around and when you come back to your first stitch, which was that starting chain three, you'll end with a chain one and join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. You can then fasten off your color C. For round nine, you're going to join your color D in any of the chain one spaces. You can then chain three, which counts as a stitch, 
and then into that same chain one space work three double crochet stitches or sorry work two double crochet stitches your chain three at the start will count as a stitch you're then going to skip the next double two double crochet stitches and into the next chain one space work three double crochet stitches now this time when you are working around you are not working a chain one space in between that's the difference between this one and the other rounds so you're simply skipping the next two double crochets working three double crochets into the next chain one space skip the next two double crochets and work three double crochets into the next chain one space continue that all the way around and then when you come to your final or to your starting your final space and your first stitch join with the slip stitch into the top of that first stitch for round 10 uh, you, at the end of round 9 you've joined with the slip stitch and you fastened off for round 10 into any of your double crochet stitches so I'm just going to join in the same stitches joining you're going to join with your color E we're now going to work one final round in our granny circle and it's simply a single crochet into the same stitches joining working in your color E and then single crochet into each double crochet stitch all the way around so you're simply working one round of single crochet stitches in your color E all the way around when you come to your first stitch you can join with a slip stitch into that first stitch then fasten off and weave in any ends once you have completed round 10 you're going uh, you're going to fasten off weave in your ends and you're going to have a granny circle that looks like this it'll be about 11 inches across and that's quite all right don't worry because when you attach it to your ring you're going to find that it stretches it out a little bit uh, which also provides a little bit of blocking and helps the stitches really stand out so once you've completed round 10 we're then going to attach our granny circle onto our metal hoop so what you're going to do is take uh, whatever color you'd like start by making a slip knot and placing it on your hook you're then going to just kind of place your granny circle inside and it doesn't matter where you start uh, but uh, you're just simply going to take your hook insert it into one of the stitches and under your metal hoop then reach through grab your yarn and join with a slip stitch once you have it joined you can chain one and we're going to work two single crochet stitches into each stitch all the way around so into this first stitch the same stitch is joining work two single crochet stitches you can work one I found that the two stitches covered the ring a little bit better and made it more solid looking when I went around so you couldn't see the ring uh, at all so work two single crochet stitches in each stitch all the way around you're going to be working around the hoop uh, each time and uh, as you go you're going to see that your granny circle will stretch out quite a bit and you should have a nice even coverage so go ahead work two single crochet stitches in each stitch all the way around working around your macrame hoop and then you can join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and meet me back here do not fasten off 
Once you come all the way around, you've joined with a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch. You're then going to make your hanger. Now in my instructions, I've said chain 20. Uh, depending on the length of the hanger that you would like, you can chain more or less. I think today I'm actually only going to chain 10 for you. So once you have 10 or 20 chained, you're then going to reach back down into the same stitches joining and join with a slip stitch down at the bottom. Now it's up to you again at this point, you can either leave that as is, or for mine to make a little bit more of a stronger handle and one that show, uh, showed a little bit more. You're then going to, uh, once you've joined, you're going to turn your work and then work a slip stitch into each stitch all the way across. So just slip stitch into each stitch all the way across. It's going to give you a little bit of a thicker chain. All the way across. When you come to the other side, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. I am almost across. Join with a slip stitch down into your bottom stitch. And fasten off. And you can then weave in your ends. Your country sun catcher is then complete. That's all there is to making the country sun cutter. Thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe while you're here and uh, take a look around. I look forward to seeing you again. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.